The programme allows you to create a stage payment schedule for yourself and perhaps to provide to your clients. Doing this allows the work schedule to be created. The reason for this is that the programme has no way of knowing what payments you will be asking for at what stage or what order you will be doing the work in. So by setting up your payment schedule in the order of the job, this is carried through to the work schedule. The summary of the stage payments is here at the top and the initial payment box is here. These are currently empty. Let's begin with payment 1. Select which categories of work you want to take payments for in each stage payment. So you may want this stage payment to include all work you'll be doing at the start of the job. These drop down lists show the categories of work that are still available to select from which means there are costs outstanding still to include on this sheet. Choose what you want this stage payment to include. I'll select one of these and leave this set as 100%, which means I want 100% of this category of work paid for in this stage payment. The amount is shown here. I will also select another category of work here, but change the percentage of it to 50%. As at this stage of the job, I'll only do half of the second fixed carpentry, so I'll only require half of the money for it. It tells me what percentage is outstanding for the first fix here. The order we set these stages of work carry through to the work schedule in that same order, so bear that in mind when you set up this sheet. Carry on down this sheet selecting which categories of work you want to be paid for in each stage, and what percentages of that work. You also need to enter the percentage of profit you wish to take at each stage in these boxes. I'll enter 25% in the first payment, 20% in the second stage payment, and so on. I have completed this payment schedule, and as you can see, the drop-down box is now empty, as I have included everything. If you had forgotten to select any items, or not claimed 100% of them all in this sheet, there will be a red warning here at the top to remind you. You can change the titles of each stage, if you prefer, to something more descriptive, like Completion of Archway, or Completion of Decoration, depending on what work is to be carried out, and when you will require the stage payments. Let's scroll back up to the summary of stage payments. I have not set an initial payment, but if you require a payment before or at the start of the job, this is very simple to specify. Whatever amount you want to claim at the beginning, it will need to come out of other stage payments. You can enter amounts you want deducted from the other stage payments to make up the initial payment here. This box shows you what you'll be charging at each stage. I will take an amount from the first stage payment, and some from the last stage. I don't want the last stage payment to be too high an amount, as in my experience, this payment can sometimes be delayed if there are any snagging lists. So I'll take some from that stage. I have made sure 100% of the profit for the job has all been taken before the last stage payment is due. This initial payment is displayed up here in the stage payment summary and the other payments that we took the amounts from are now adjusted. That's the stage payment schedule complete. Now when you generate the written quotation for the client, it will have updated the stage payment amounts to match these changes. There is help here to explain this in case you need it.